Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Garchomp versus Gengar. On Snow Gift. Quality new stage from our new shiny Switch game. I feel like we don't see it a whole lot either. I don't it know. I mean, maybe we're just too focused, like playing the game. Maybe. Forget what's going on. But moving on. So one of the biggest things is, I don't know if Uncharted Shadow Ball has like a lot of priority, but Uncharted, or I'm sorry, Charged Shadow Ball has a ton of Ooh, priority. good catch. Push, but not quite minding the tornado coming back. Does not care about release X into the ground, though. What is this damage that has already happened to SK Dale? Curse. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Like, really good movement here. Mm -hmm. This kid has shown a lot of his playing a lot of good spacing versus Spud. Bit of a trade. Man, those charge Shadow Balls. Mm -hmm. And with him not having access to Pocket Sand and Dual Phase, it's kind of, kind of, aside from Dig, like, what else can he do? Dang. There we go. Take away a little bit of that. Six Spud's still got a lot of work yeah. to get. That, that was a good approach there from Sir Spud. I noticed Spud went back to Eevee. He was using Mew earlier, I wonder why. Um, I mean, besides Mew being kind of broken, but... Yeah, maybe he was just trying to poke around with the, the crit damage. So I would know that he would be using Blastoise today if it wasn't the last event in our PR season. <laughs> Astonish combo into Astonish combo into Scooby. Okay, that was interesting. Ah, bait out the Umbreon. Still got boobs, but that's all right. What? Still got boobs. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what she thinks we just said. I don't know. Maybe she should he say knows. it on stream. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Good right. damage here. There we go. Very even set or ground right now. Two spot on match point. This kid will probably try to stall at the burst a little bit, but it's not wait too long for hopping his own. Good job. Good call out. Good, good confirm and win a field. He kind of needed that. Mm -hmm. ah. I think his burst is a little slightly out last game, guys, but not enough to close in much space. Yeah. Nope. Oh, no, he tried. he tried, he tried. Alright, he's got five seconds. Oh, oh, he's got it, I this, think. I don't, I don't think that'll still do it, though. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, <laughs> good job! Just, bah, I went this round! Alright! I wasn't done yet! Now I'm done! I'm Oh my god. Match isn't over till Garchomp says it's over. Right, good okay. avoid, uh, avoiding that uh, projectile there. Miss Goodell got a safe, squishy lead so far. <laughs> Alright, so there's uh, half of Gengar's health gone. <laughs> it's like two thirds, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gengar has like the second most oh, yeah, yeah. in the game, but. I don't know what that was calling out, but it totally crit. Well, Gengar has to do, but three Astonish combos do half of what a power character can do. Basically. <laughs> Such is the life of Tiger Mills. He's making a very good mileage. Is it, it's as if he doesn't have 43 HP left. He's just playing like he normally does. Mm -hmm. Which is important. You always gotta play smart. Ooh. Okay. I'm surprised he Maybe he tried to shenanigan his way out of that? That or he tried to burst. Uh, did he have burst? Yeah, he, he had it by that time. So that's why I was kind of surprised he just ended up taking it. Probably in the simple one way or another. Yeah, maybe. Better he forgot it was round, uh, or like, SKDL up. Was that final round? Uh, I think it was. My okay, brain just ah. Okay. Nope. Chasing each other. There's <laughs> so many counters, it's the no mix up mix up, and it worked. And yeah, you think people grab it. <laughs> I mean, at any point, they could just do a something out of counter, and it just scares you a little bit inside. Ooh, that's nice. 
is really good and field or has been at stuffing our counters with his 7,000 hit homing attack. <laughs> it has been working pretty well in Gengar, but obviously not 100%. Actually, that 2x uh, that wasn't a good idea. Have you just a counter out? dash cancel dance just happened, and I'm sad that it was only one dash. It could have gone <laughs> There's Bud getting nope. his revenge in this round. It's always, always those pokes that take you off guard. Mm -hmm. Let's get Dale squishing himself in a corner and then taking it back. Nice, okay, committing to it. Notice I'm probably supposed to be doing tons and tons of counter cancels. Yeah. Not a lot of answers for Sonic. That, that shield is crispy. Nope. Alright, it's back. <laughs> nice. Okay. There we go. Gets the cross up. Gets some synergy back. He just does not want to be anywhere near Gengar. Gengar really wants to be close to him, I guess. <laughs> He's just... Surprised at that. Yeah. Alright. Him, makes him waste the entire burst, so that's good for SK Dale. Mmm. Attack. Not taking those mix ups on Wake Up. I wonder how. I can understand why he didn't just go burst, but that might have. Would that have saved him? Because I know Garchomp's burst like doesn't have iframes on it, just has armor or something like that, or do I have that backwards? Uh, I think that is the case, yeah. So he can still be booped out of it. Oh wait, Shadow Ball pierces counter. What am I thinking? We'll fully charge those anyway. Moving nope. on. Uh -huh. Super close. They're like one in away. No, I don't Spud, know. Spud's gonna take it. Okay. Never yeah. mind. I wasn't looking at the timer. So Spud will take this game. Alright, so a clarification for Kalan has armor start up then I Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. No changes into this next game. I don't think I've ever asked these two what the matchup is. I don't know, but we've seen them a lot, it seems. I could see it being even. Ooh. Yo, safety frog! Okay, so you know, there weren't any actual changes, but he's decided to use frog in here this time. I'm not sure why. Never We're gonna find out. Ooh! Ooh. Oh, maybe it's his whimsical must have given him frog. No, I got a minute. Just nope. watching his opponent, but he gets pizza cutter. Nice. He's getting lots of mileage off Gengar's counter. By no means the best counter in the game, but it has very nice range. It really does. Then he got frog again. How fast is this thing? Not fast enough to catch him in field twice. Nope. Ah. Counter carrying Garchomp into the corner. What will Garchomp do to bring this back? Yeah. That counter. It, it was, else. honestly, that was a good old college try. Because you have to have pizza cutters and cover vulnerable friends really well. This is true. There, that's the stuffer I've been looking for. I predict Umbreon, yes. That, that was a good option, too, because that uh, got rid of this uh, meter. You Armor Barry, let's go! Okay, all right, hard call-outs. All right, Escadale, tired of these counters, decides to just get a grab on. There we go, another oh, grab. Okay. And honestly, like, that, that worked out decently first, though, because he's going to start this round with a full gauge. Mm -hmm. Of course, so does SK Dale. Unfortunately for Split, it gave SK Dale time to build up a synergy and everything he wanted, except the support. I didn't catch your cheers running. Move, moving on. Okay, so that's the danger you get, you just YOLO grab counters. He does not, he's blocking them. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. Good option there to activate burst. Mm -hmm. Sir Spud just keeping Garchomp where he wants him. 
Oh. Is that gonna work? Okay. Yes, it will. Very well executed. See, I feel like I saw that happen the last time, but I just wasn't sure. That you could, you know, catch Gengar as vulnerable as the fact getting knocked by Gengar Jumpers. And now we know. The more you know. Ooh. Garcha, or Gengar really wanted the tail end of that burst, but not quite get it. Nice, okay, so got rid of the projectile. Just a lot, a lot of really good things here in those, like, <laughs> three seconds. Getting rid of the, the charge Shadow Ball, able to block in time, and then able to anti-air the, uh, the Sledge Bomb. Mm, Gengar has some catching up to do, but he's got 24 seconds, a lot of time to do it. Good, LB. It's good deal, yeah. That's a good homing the first Gengar, I think. Mm -hmm. It just stuffs it, it crits that, and it's, it's really nice. Yeah, just covers a lot of active. Mm -hmm. Alright, so SKDL on game? Match game? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. It's about getting field here. Oh! Okay! I would have just expected that to Yeah, crash. I thought that clashed. <laughs> it's gonna be playing it safe. Well, alright. Like you were saying earlier, Pizza Fed are really good at stuff and stuff. Except uh, that they use less stuff, but it actually works. Oh, that would have been a beautiful crit, but it's not meant to be. <laughs> okay, sorry, good jump call out there. I feel like the back Y from Gengar is like punishable from that distance, but I don't know about Asgard. Whereas Gadil's got to sit around without Umbreon to help him out. And now it's here. What? Yep, that counter combo will finish that. And I'm surprised he's not catching vulnerable friends with the earthquake. Like, it's just lasting long enough. Right. I mean, Earthquake probably is really good against someone really short like Gregson's counter. Gengar is in that happy middle zone where it probably outlasts Earthquake if you just pray hard enough. Or count frames, but that's just math. Anyway. Um, is there spot getting out of there? Can he dodge? No, he does not quite dodge Umbreon. And he gets it right back. There we go. Crit into Garchomp combo. So there's spot getting pushed up against the wall, but not showing any fear. Taking the stage back. Yule goes just around everything. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's gonna put Escadale in danger. It's like, yeah, you got a burst. No, yep, yep. Uh, Is that gonna work? Uh, oh no. my god. Such short iframes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, alright. Escadale trying to make the right call, but the timing just didn't go in his favor. Spud just has some like crazy setups and high frames. Like, I haven't even ever seen that before, and he just executed like he knew it. He's he. I feel like he completely has the iframe and neutral through burst waves down, like it's waking up in the morning. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really nice. Ooh, nice. All right. <laughs> I was telling me earlier, if he just wins field, he feels a lot better about fighting Spud, or Gengar rather, in general. Because you do not want Gengar to get that synergy. Especially not when they're running whimsical. Oh, <laughs> alright. I like that a lot. It was beautiful. He timed the uh, the Stone Edge activation in between the hits of Sludge Bomb. Mmm. Like, that was tasty. Very good. Yeah, that Gonna try to call out some goofiness, but gets caught up in an astonished combo. Yep. Accidental release X. Into the sky. As far as the synergy battle goes. 
Okay, mm -hmm. saw it coming. Alright, alright. Okay. Crazy mix-ups going on! I don't know what to think! Now, you have to remember that if he goes for the hypnosis, the Shadow Ball disappears. Okay. So it's not a true unblock. Well, what about regular grab? Um... I don't know what that one. I think it's still the I can't remember. Okay. I don't think that's gonna... No, that's not gonna do problem. enough. Yeah, oh, there, there's no way. It was worth a shot. It maybe had Umbi reached. It might have done the chip. There's no time. Uh, I don't know if you caught up in the end. Uh, Gengar was stuck in his face of getting hit. <laughs> Going straight for the grab this time. Oh, okay, okay. Such that. tasty eye frames. Now, is Umbreon the only support that takes away synergy? Besides maybe Evil Tall, but no one uses Evil Tall unless I don't, I don't know you really like it. So I think it just locks it. Right. It prevents build up. It might. Yeah, I, it's just been so long since I've seen Evil Tall, I don't even know for sure. But Umbreon's yeah. the only other one I can think of. Uh, I just wonder if there was one that, you know, covered a distance rather than a small dome around you. Yeah, I'm not sure. Pressure, able to avoid the Umbreon. Mm -hmm. huh? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Was it worth? I don't know. It's questionable. Very He's quite got hard. his get out of jail free card. Ooh, uh, what's this gonna do? Yeah. I don't know, but it it ended up okay. I mean, now he's getting hit. Oh. What? What? I what? Do. What? What? I mean, okay. Yeah. I don't know, but you know what? Gengar just has ghost frames and can go right through that. Honestly, the, the ghosts have the easiest time punishing that burst, too. Yeah. Grab a wake up! The tilt strats! Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I'm not out of this! Take oh my back. god! He did it! Holy cow! Oh my lord. Alright, we're final round here. Match point for both of them. Actually, this this might be very important for PR. Ooh, you're giving hints for how to get free candy. Maybe. <laughs> Hi, Hi. All right. That wouldn't honestly surprise me because they're just such good players. They are. And so and is like, Skyrim, and there's a waiting in grands over there. Yeah, and Eskadale has had such a good season too. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, our, our top three. Just of the, the current PR, they're all just solid players. Right. That's what makes it so tough against them. Very knowledgeable, they, they just know what to do in a lot of setups. I think what's interesting about the top three that I'm looking at, what right now, Skyrim and Muscadale, but they're all very dedicated to their character. And like, it seems like everybody else has like a like the same main, the, the secondary. These guys are just excel at using their one character, Ooh. which is really interesting to see. But I, that was a very, very nice match from Sir Spud. Yeah, that was a clean round. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that frustration rage coming on through. So Sir Spud's going to take it 3-2 and move back into Grands. <laughs>